Look, I think that we need to touch upon this subject because this is something that'll I'm shape. I'm nervous to touch upon it, to be honest. Of course. Because this is, of course, the, everyone's because, nervous to touch well, upon it. I'm nervous it. to touch upon it. Two reasons. One, That's because I don't feel like I know enough. And two, I worry that what I, I know what I believe about people and the world, but I'm worried about that what I say could come across wrong or get misconstrued. That's exactly the point. And I don't want- So let's talk about that. And I don't want to ever say anything that would appear, that would not agree with how I actually feel, or that could be read in a way that isn't true to how I actually feel. Yeah, I 100%, that's Does a scary that place to be. It yeah. is, it is a scary place Because you're to being be. manipulated, and also it's defaming your character. Yeah, because I- Defamation right now is what we're talking about. I would never want someone to think, yeah, I don't know. It's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to talk about because, yeah. I mean, this is talk about. this is the thing. We've been through this before. We've been through this time before, and it's like none of those lessons matter. And that's the thing that really bugs me. We've been through a McCarthy era. We've been through it, and now we're going through a second one, mm. right? And anyone that doesn't, you just agree, reminded me to read uh, my favorite play again. Have you read The Crucible? Yeah. 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 Getting scarlet lettered. Totally. That's not the crucible, but yes. yes. Oh wait, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I've, I've so read that. So the crucible was so. Where he has to sign, right? No, so the, that's the crucible. No, no. So the crucible is Daniel Day Lewis was in it. Yes. No. Right. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes. Daniel Day Lewis yeah. was in the crucible because he signs. He's the one who signs that he's uh, the witch or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the crucible is um, written by Arthur Miller. Mm -hmm. As a response to when he was being like blacklisted by the American government for, yes. for being now a communist. Now we're getting into it. Right? Yes. So the crucible is fascinating. It's the story of the Salem witch trials. Right. That's but it's, okay. But it's it's amazing. You should read it. But it's written by Arthur Miller as like a what's the word? A, it's like, like an homage. Yeah, to like an allegory to what's yeah. happening what was happening at that point in America. Right. With like people being blacklisted and yeah stuff because artists in, because in the crucible i highly recommend if, if you haven't read it you read it. it's a fantastic play and i've seen it on stage and it's amazing it talks all about how the, in the witch trials it, it what happened in the Salem witch trials is almost identical to what happened with the mccarthy era and with scapegoating and there's a great yes. museum in salem that i went to and it has the whole idea of like what is the fear mm -hmm. what is the trigger and then like the scapegoats, right? What is, what are we afraid of? What is the trigger? And then who can we blame as a result of that? Right. And that's what happened in the Salem witch trials, right? And that's what's happening now. And that what was happening. And that's what happened in the McCarthy era. And that's why when Arthur Miller was going through the stuff with the American government, where he was being blamed and being called a communist or a communist sympathizer, and they were threatening him and he actually went to trial. I don't know if he went to jail. I think he might've actually, but he definitely went to trial. And then he wrote this play, The Crucible, all about the Salem Witch Trials. And it is incredible how that story lines up exactly with what was happening at that point. And it's what's happening now, right? And it's exactly what we're going through now. And no one is safe in it, right? They're going to be picking off people that are easier and definitely need an adjustment, mm. right? But what I'm saying is, is that the ridiculousness and the degree of ease that this defamation can be placed on people is increasing. And it is a genuine concern because all all of our abilities to spread information or to hold dialogue are getting very strong gatekeepers um, that could easily just shut the doors. Mm. And as a society, what are the implications with that? I miss the old days when if this was happening to you, you could just write a play like Arthur Miller did. That's you could write a nice play, you could go into a bar, you know, you could say things that you feel passionate about that you haven't really thought through. Mm. And then you bump into somebody who has a deeper thought and then educates you on something. It, right? I, I do. There aren't factions. Worry like, about if I have kids that like everything that happens nowadays is recorded for the internet. That's what I worry about. That's yeah. what I worry about the most. Yeah. Because, because there was a point in life where you could go out with friends and, and I'm not even talking about doing anything bad in particular, just be silly and not, and, and be, and have fun and, and not worry about the repercussions that, anything that happened or said or you did could be photographed and then misconstrued and then put online to destroy you later. I remember when I was applying to colleges, it was kind of like just the start of like the real social media era. era. Right. And we got lots of talks from our schools about like, do not put stuff on your social media. Do not put yeah, pictures on your Facebook. Yeah. Do not put this no stuff one up because to that. no one listened to that. <laughs> Everyone that was like, ah, Everyone's with like, that drinks. Yeah, exactly. But they were like, because 
you know, this will come back and yeah. bite you at some point. And they were right. Yeah. It's because they grew out of, you know, communism and, um, you know, their parents left the McCarthy era and they were all very principled and, you know, held this moral high ground, right? Superman was invented in that time. Like the, I, the paragon of virtue was Speaking this of morally superheroes. straight person. 